No Nut November will give you enlightenment. No Nut November is a new tradition. But No Nut Ramadan is an ancient tradition. As is No Nut Lent. And it's reasonable to think that if such things are found between three very distinct cultures with three very distinct origins, that they will have something in common which is beneficial. As you live your life, you get stuck in various loops of your habits. A typical one that many people face today is one of you feel lonely or sad in your life, and then you decide, oh, I'm gonna look at some hentai. And then you come and you forget. And you continue with that. Day after day. Year after year. But, No Nut November disrupts this. It disrupts the cycle because now, when you feel lonely, you don't have your previous default option. You have to think about something new. And this new thing, it could be anything. It could be finding someone. It could be thinking about what you actually want from life. There are lots of ways that you can address things differently. This is called a disruptive strategy, and it's very common throughout all religious traditions, with things ranging from sexual abstinence to fasting to dancing for a very long time or using hallucinogens. Such strategies help you move into another mode of being. There are two different ways of trying to get a better life, as you can see in this diagram. You, the stick figure, have two options. You can cross a valley, or you can climb a hill. If you climb the small hill that you're on, you'll be climbing it into all sorts of new forms of hentai. Your life will be better, at least somewhat better, but if you cross the valley and go to the high hill and then get broadened horizons in your life, that is significantly better than the more hentai. But it's a challenge because you actually have to make your life worse when you cross the valley or the valley of the shadow of death to get from the small hill to the big hill. Most people are unwilling to do this and they're unwilling to do this because it's hard. All the signals in your brain will be telling you go for the hentai hill but the relationships hill is the one that you should be going for. You have to defer gratification and use a lot of willpower to break yourself out of an established behavioral pattern. This is why making it an annual tradition is something that's so genius, because it doesn't place the uh, burdenous obligation on everybody to at any given time stop with porn, or in the case of Ramadan, stop with eating during the day, but it disrupts you every single year. It makes it so that you can't remain complacent in your lifestyle. You'll be challenged every year to become a better person and to cross over the valley of the shadow of death to the high hill. And that high hill is enlightenment. Although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Stay strong.